Get that chain... off of my friend! Fatality. So far on Beneath the Bold Eyes, we've only talked about good anime and their significant contributions to the medium as a whole, but I think it's high time we shift gears now and talk about some bad anime, and today's featured show is no exception. Now by no means is this show a complete waste of your time or the worst of the worst. If you like action series with a fair share of violence and skin, then this show is definitely for you. However, it's those exact qualities why I find this anime to be quote unquote bad. Something about battle ready high school girls really appeals to creators of manga and anime. It's a show I remember watching as a teenager and now say to myself, yeah, that was crap. Nonetheless, we're going to see what works and what didn't, and a word to you viewers, if you thought women's MMA fighting was violent, you haven't seen anything yet. So let's take a look beneath the bold eyes of freezing. It's hard to say where freezing takes place exactly, but I guess it's somewhere at a generic anime high school with racially ambiguous characters. The anime follows a female warrior named Satellite Bridges and her bitch, I, um, I mean her partner, no name Kazuya. Satellite is known as a Pandora, an elite class of female warriors with things called stigmata embedded in their bodies to give them superpowers and stuff, I guess. No Name Kazuya is Satellite's limiter, a partner that assists the Pandora warriors when they're having a catfight using powers that, guess what, literally freezes people in their place. Because you know, the anime is called freezing for a reason, right? To sum it all up, Satellite and all her Pandora friends are fighting against these CG monsters called Nova that are terrorizing the world. Like, we haven't seen this kind of anime before, right? Then another girl named Rana Lynchpin comes along and creates a needless love triangle with no name Kazuya and Satellite. There's some drama, bland comedy, needless deaths, and boobs. Freezing is based off a manga by the same name created by South Korean manhwa artist Lim Dal Young. The man has had experience in the manga industry before, having published a series called Black God that was later adapted into an anime in 2009. Freezing is the second of his works to get an anime, but its greatest weakness is its lack of identity. It's an anime that doesn't know what to focus on, and when it does choose to focus on something, it usually comes off as very boring and uninspired. Inspiring. Everything from Satellite and No Name's relationship, to the character's past, to the Nova's origins are either unexplored, left on a cliffhanger, or don't develop into anything interesting enough to keep the viewer entertained. It's a sci-fi story that sticks close to what it's required of and really adds nothing new to the genre. Hey, we have genetically altered busty girls to fight off these monsters that came from nowhere. Fight. I'll give Freezing some points and say it has pretty spot on action fights that you can't look away from. They were all pretty entertaining to watch and well animated if you didn't mind half naked girls getting brutally beaten up. While the Pandora's general attack moves look cool when animated, the names just sound really uninspiring. Axel Turn, Tempest Turn, Burning Fan X4. These all sound like moves from a Fast and Furious movie, not an action anime. If there's anything left to say about Freezing, is that its characters just aren't memorable and the only thing going for them is how much you can hate them. Whatever screen time Satellite and No Name get, it's always interrupted by bitches who just want to take Satellite down. There are some good dynamics with some characters, like the all-powerful Chip and Fairchild and Moe Bait Kathy Lockhart, but aside from them, everyone else feels like one-note instruments with barely any presence other than to show skin or bite the dust. I mean, who was the target audience for this anime anyway? But the fact of the matter is most of them are childless single men who masturbate to anime. Masturbate to anime. Masturbate to anime. Masturbate, 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 masturbate to Oh, that makes sense. I wish I could say more, but Freezing is just what it is. An action anime that serves as an okay waste of time at best. It's got bucks and babes slicing their clothes off and beating the crap out of each other, which makes my female MMA comparison pretty accurate right about now. At least it's a bit more entertaining than female volleyball, am I right fellas? 
So if you like action series with a hint of sci-fi, harem hijinks, and brutal fights, then check Freezing out. I know there's a second season called Freezing Vibration, and I'll review it eventually. But I really don't want to. Once again, thanks for watching. As always, if you'd like to see more from this channel, hit those like and subscribe buttons and share this video around. Also check out my Facebook page for some exclusive content and follow me on my Twitter where I rant about anime daily.